Hey there, this is Northern Access, and today we're coming at you uh, kind of with a quick setup and uh, how to make a free test call with the 9505A and uh, a few little tips on uh, some of the things that we get from customers to make things a little bit better for you as far as support. Alright, so you can see here we got the 9505A completely taken apart. There's the phone or the handset. The, uh, that's the, of course, the battery is not in it. There's the battery, the SIM card, the antenna, and also the battery door. First of all, we're gonna uh, if you've gotten a, uh, a 9505A from us, uh, refurbished or used, you're going to want to install the SIM card. This is how you do it. If you, I'm going to try to zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better. Basically, there we go. See see the little uh, arrow where it says uh, lock it's actually upside down right now but basically that's where you have to lock it go ahead and uh, push it in the lock position real quick so you can see that it actually locks into that position right there so go ahead and use your fingernail unlock it you hear it click and then you can just use your fingernail or dump it like that that's how I would suggest to do it just let it swing open and then if you look real closely at the SIM card door, there's actually a groove right there. And also there's a 45 degree cut at the top. The copper and copper end of the SIM card has to be facing into the actual copper connectors of the SIM card reader. So you can see how, how she's got it right there. So now you can go ahead and close it see the 45 degree cut fits right in there now you can lock it you hear it lock in position if that does not lock in position it will not make connection you will not get signal uh, so at this point we can go ahead and basically uh, install the battery you see there she's got the battery now there's basically two notches that are at the top of the phone you can see there and there's two notches on the uh, other end of the battery. It goes in like that. Snaps right in. Easy as that. Now you got the battery in. Now you got the battery door. That goes in like so. Snaps in. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the antenna on. Now this is uh, where some of our customers actually call in and say they don't get signal. Uh, and we'll show you why. You can see here the antenna has a rubber gasket around it. Let me try to get it a little closer. Uh, the rubber gasket basically is your seal, the water seal. And then you can see on the actual phone itself, it has a plastic ring around it. That's where the, where the rubber gasket meets up with it. So it basically has to be flush. And if you look at the top of the phone there, I think you can show them the, see that little arrow? That is the antenna release button. So let's, at this point, we'll go ahead and put the antenna on. So what you got to do is hold that button down. Actually, let's look at the inside of it real quick while you're pushing it down so they can see what happens. You see that copper ring on the inside? Let me try to get a better view. If you see that copper ring, there's a, a solid copper ring and then there's a little copper cup go ahead and press the uh, antenna release button I don't know if you saw that but it basically presses down that little metal piece on the bottom let it go again and press it again see that that basically is what's holding the antenna in now that little copper ring and the copper cup that is what's making the connection on the antenna you can see right here it's got the copper uh, solid copper piece and then you got the little copper uh, little ball end on it that fits right inside that little cup it's right inside there let me get a better view okay so now let's go ahead and put the antenna on so what you do is you hold that thing down firmly and it has to be the antenna has to be in the downward position grab it like she's doing right here from the fat end uh, of the antenna because the weakest part of the antenna is always the shaft 
So basically what she did is she held the uh, antenna release button down, then she pushed the antenna all the way in until it was completely flush. And now you hear that click. There's one on that side and one on that side. So the reason why you have those clicks is because of the fact that uh, when you put it up to your ear, the antenna is going to be straight up to the sky, whichever side of your ear you got it on, whether it's your left ear or your right ear. If you don't hear that click, then you have accidentally hit the antenna release button and you're probably going to be calling us and asking us why you don't have signal. Uh, show them how easy it is to hit that antenna release button real quick and it, it uh, pop out. Just see how easy it is. You just barely tap it and it just pops right out and sometimes it'll just be hanging there and you won't even know it and, you, and your antenna will be dangling and you won't get any signal at all. So let's go ahead and power it on and I'm just going to kind of show you where we're at here too. Uh, right now we're actually out on a porch. We got trees all around us. Uh, we got... Uh, roof on this side we got a big palm tree here power lines not exactly the most prime position for uh, for signal you really should have an open view of the sky but we're going to show you how this works because the iridium system is extremely uh, efficient so that, to power it on go ahead and hit the uh, red button down there hold it down for a couple seconds you see it power on and this is what it goes through. Welcome screen. Now it goes into searching mode. You see it automatically pulled up four bars. Now it's got two or three. It says searching. Like I said, we're not exactly in the most prime position because we don't have a clear view of the sky. see if we can get it to uh, register maybe uh, point it more to the uh, yeah there there we go all right so that's what it looks like when it registers so we got three bars it really has to have over two bars to actually register so now here we're gonna make a quick free call so we can get this over with before we drop signal uh, so to make a free call you're going to dial from 9505A or 9505 or 9500. 0, 0, then 1 is the country code. So if you're in another country, it would be 00, zero or let's say it's Mexico, you would dial 052. Uh, United States country code in Canada is 1, so you dial 001 zero, zero, and 480-752. Five one zero five, and then go ahead and hit, hit the OK button. Now you can see there we still got uh, five bars of signal, and we're actually not in a great position. You see, it says connected. Actually, if maybe if I can get a little closer here, I can kind of hear it. Anyway, basically, it, uh, if you heard that a little bit, it has a voice prompt that kind of tells you about the uh, uh, the Iridium system and how to use it. Make sure you're in open view of the sky. And that's pretty much it. That's the 9505A. Actually, this is the phone that the U.S. military and most governments around the world still use. It's one of the best in the field, in kind of my opinion, because it's easy to repair if something happens. You can take off the antenna. You can replace the antenna super easy you got uh, external antenna adapters that you can run uh, cable and and have an antenna on your roof and uh, operate in your car your home docking stations you name it so uh, this is the iridium 9505a and uh, how to set it up and make a free phone call from northern access and we're out